Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's AR update video. This is a good one. This is a really good one, I swear. Now, on the Reddit, actually, let me see how long was this posted ago. Um, 41 minutes ago. So this is pretty recent news. A new email from FNAF AR um, has been released, and it is very interesting. It is, of course, referencing a new character being added to the game. But who that character is, is the exciting part. So I'm going to put up a picture of the email right now. Again, thank you to the Reddit for finding this for me, because I haven't checked yet, but I'm guessing I don't have it, because emails can be a little bit slow. Actually, maybe they're not slow. This one's actually... This was released on... Or this email was sent out to players on February the 12th of 2020. Right now, I'm recording this on February the 11th of 2020, so... Maybe this one came out earlier than expected? So the email says, couple of weird customer reports, and this is from customer service, and it's being forwarded to Tristian at the compliance team. Hey Tristian, we've been getting some weird reports here in customer service that I don't really know how to respond to. A handful of our more hardcore users of the service have been reporting service calls from an animatronic that isn't appearing anywhere in our database. Some kind of vintage Bonnie model. A couple of people have mentioned a really bad smell from it as well. Is it possible some old second-hand model somehow made it into the deployment rotation? Is he? Alright, so looking at the post, some people are saying that it's Springtrap, um, because of the, you know, the whole vintage Bonnie model, which, just thinking about it now, doing one of the FNAF 3 phone calls, it even, phone guy, actually not phone guy, it was phone dude, said that he found some vintage audio training cassettes that were like prehistoric. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. So I'm guessing people are trying to make that connection, but I think this is more likely Withered Bonnie because Springtrap's already in the game. Why would they be releasing an email about him now when the game's been out for like four months? Right now, we're also getting FNAF 2 characters. We got Toy Chica, we got Toy Bonnie, and we got Toy Freddy so it would make sense for them to be releasing yet another FNAF 2 character. Why they skipped Mangle, Toy Foxy, I have no clue, but honestly, I'm just excited to have another character. A couple of people have also mentioned a really bad smell from it as well, probably just because it's old. Uh, right off the top of my head, I don't remember Phony saying anything about the Withers having a bad smell, though I'm sure they do. Right now, you probably notice the older models sitting in the background. Uh, we just use them for parts now. Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe that worked. No, phone guy did say something. Because they were like, I'm sure by now you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from a previous location. We just use them for parts now. Um, we tried repairing them with some of the newer technology, but they were just so ugly, you know? And the smell. By now, I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from the previous location, and we just use them for parts now. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? And the smell. Boom. Connections. I didn't even, I didn't even look anything up. I'll probably leave in a couple seconds of me thinking about it, because I cannot believe my memory is just that supreme. I really hope they add another new mechanic for the Withers not just the mask. It would be fine if they just keep the mask, but if they did something like what they did with Toy Freddy, like adding an entirely different mechanic for them, that would be amazing. I mean, Toy Freddy, he changed it up, but he didn't change it too far that it was drastically different, you know? Like he stole the mask, but all he did was he did a little bit extra, he drained the battery. If they do something just a little bit extra with the withers, that'd be great. I'm not entirely sure what they could do Again, <laughs> I'm not the brightest with coming up with new ideas for these characters as we've learned from previous update videos, but um, I'm sure they can figure out something. Something else I really hope that comes along in the update with Withered Bonnie is daily quests, because I've been asking for this since like day one. They really need a way to draw players back into the game to play it daily, or like weekly quest. Those, those would be great, because right now I pop on when there's a new character, and that's basically it. And this is something that I've thought about, but I'm not entirely sure how it could be implemented, but like different game modes has been something that has been tossed around in my mind recently. It all started when they released Plus, or well, 
released, they teased Plus Trap, um, and I thought back to, you know, the FNAF 4 minigame, where you just shine your light at him. I really hope that they find some sort of way to add in a, in a separate game mode to FNAF AR that's different from just looking around and shocking the characters. Just like a small little mini game, maybe it could be one of those 8-bit mini games. That would be that would be amazing if they added in like small little mini games that you could get like um, scraps for, or maybe you could get a little bit of tokens or extra batteries or just something. Maybe it can replace the gift box when that goes away, because that's only for like certain holiday events. I think that would be great. Going back to game modes, um, you know, just something different from just shocking the characters, because. As different as all their mechanics are, it's still the same principle. It's still looking around and shocking them when they um, when they decloak. Maybe they could do something along the lines of like Minecraft Earth, where you can just like be in camel mode and have no one attacking you, and you can just chill out. You know, you can just take a look at them. Um, and for the withers, maybe you can like look around for their different like um, body parts. Like maybe you'll see Bonnie's arm, or maybe you'll see his fucking face, and then you can like tap on it, move your camera back to where uh, Withered Bonnie was, and then put it back on him. Or maybe it could be like the uh, the Repair Foxy minigame in FNAF VR, where you have to gather his parts, but you can't look away for him from him for too long. I don't know, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I just really hope they add something new with the Withered characters, because they are a fantastic group of characters. They are like one of the scariest and most visually pleasing characters. I don't know, there's something so amazing about their design, so I really hope they use that to their advantage. Anyways, I actually popped back in to do this part of the video, so I'm just gonna like go back to past me to finish off the video, because I technically already finished this one, so take it away, past me. Vintage body model and a smell and it's a FNAF 2 character. I don't I don't even know what further information you guys need. I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious with a Bonnie is officially coming to FNAF AR Special Delivery. This is awesome. Um, predictions on when? Probably after the Valentine's update um, is over. So maybe like a week or two, it'll end, but they'll probably have to have another um, two weeks just like finish everything with his animations and his model and stuff like that. Plus we've been getting new characters about every other month. So, or not every other month, but every month. So I'm guessing probably early March is when we're gonna see him, like a couple, like the first week or two into March, we'll get with the Bonnie. That's just my guess though, that is not actual information, so don't quote me on anything. The only thing you can quote me on is the fact that it's with a Bonnie coming to FNAF AR and this entire email, because it basically confirms that. To be honest, there's not really much more to say. I mean, it's kind of self explanatory. With the Bonnie's coming to FNAF AR, probably sometime early March. That's kind of it. <laughs> Just a quick reminder, uh, speaking of the Valentine's event, it is still going on. If you have not captured Toy Freddy, you have not gotten his suit, you have not gotten his CPU, you can still do that. Probably for the next like week or two, you can still do that. Though do keep in mind that Valentine's Day is approaching pretty fast, so if you have not gotten him just yet, you should probably get to that. Every four hours, you get a gift. That gift can sometimes give you a Toy Freddy lore. Anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, with it, Bonnie, again, probably sometime early March. Absolutely cannot wait. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.